Hello my darlings and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crystal fairy wreath and a miniature fairy wreath with moss and crystals. Let's do some magical crafting. I'm using a small 8 inch grapevine wreath for my fairy wreath. I like this size for altar decor. I'm also using some purple faceted glass beads and acorn tops, some banded amethyst crystals, and some clear quartz crystals. I'm using some 26 gauge bronze jewelry wire and a bit of bronze chain as well. Jewelry making tools as well as glue sticks and a glue gun. We'll use the jewelry making items later. First, we'll start with the moss. I'm using three different colors of moss, a dark olive greenish brown, a bright kelly green, and a lime green moss. I'm also using a three inch grapevine wreath for the miniature fairy wreath. If you'd like to skip to the mini wreath portion of the video, I'll put a chapter link to where that starts below. I'm also using some silk flowers. I grabbed the flowers that I had that were purple so that I could complement the banded amethyst crystal that I plan to use. I really like these purple flowers that are made of paper wrapped wire. I started by pulling apart small bits of all three colors of moss. I considered cutting it, but I decided I didn't want any straight edges. So I decided to tear the moss into bits of varying sizes. I glued the moss onto the grapevine wreath, tucking moss inside and leaving some of the grapevine to show. I tried to alternate the three colors of moss as I went. Covering the entire 8 inch wreath took me nearly 30 minutes. I enjoyed the repetitive task. It felt meditative and calming. Next, I clipped 10 to 12 purple flowers from their stems and glued them around the wreath, 
tucking the wire into the moss. I also decided to include three lilac or wisteria blooms from this artificial vine decoration. I chose two light purple and one darker one to complement the paper flowers and glued them onto the wreath. Another idea I had was to create some sparkly jeweled acorns for the wreath. I used some acorn tops that I had found and collected from nature. They were really small and I had the idea to use a large bead to create the nut portion. I found these large purple faceted glass beads in my jewelry making stash. I used hot glue to glue the purple faceted beads inside the acorn tops. I made two sets of two acorns each and glued them on the wreath. Next, I'm going to attach three crystals to the wreath using this bronze chain. I selected a banded amethyst crystal for the middle and two clear quartz crystals for either side. I cut three lengths of chain. One was slightly longer than the other two so that the middle crystal would hang a little bit lower. I also used three large jump rings and three small jump rings. I attached the chain to the large jump rings and then attached the rings on the back of the wreath at the top. I spaced them evenly apart as much as possible. They might still slide a bit and you'll see that I use a drop of hot glue later to keep them in place. Next, it's time to make some wire loops on each crystal to hang them from. I used some thin 26 gauge wire for this. I made a loop with a long end, then strung the crystal on, brought the end up to the top, and twisted it closed, securing the wire with several twists and clipping the excess away. Once all three crystals had wire loops, I attached them to the three chains with the small jump rings. This is where I realized that the large jump rings were going to slide around a bit, so I used three drops of hot glue to keep them in place. And that is the larger crystal fairy wreath done. The next part of the video is how to make a miniature crystal fairy wreath. I'm starting with a three inch grapevine wreath and three colors of moss again. I'm using a purple paper flower and I chose three crystals.
I select one part of the wreath to be the bottom and I glue the three crystals directly inside the wreath with a large amount of hot glue. I really want them to be secure. Next, I add moss all around the bottom of the wreath and around the crystals and I glue on one of the purple flowers on the left. I knocked one of the crystals loose while gluing on the moss, so I re-glued it on and then I added a big chunk of moss to the back of the wreath to hold all the crystals in. Then I cut some of the tiny purple flowers off of the larger blooms and glued a few of them in the moss, tucking them inside the greenery here and there. I added a little bit more moss to balance everything out and once I was happy with the design I decided to leave the top of the wreath bare. And here is a look at the final version of the mini wreath. And here is the final 8 inch wreath. I hope this video has inspired you to make a crystal fairy wreath and given you some ideas on how to decorate yours if you make one.